This is uh, Colomé Estate Malbec 2010. And, um, you know, from the, the Calchaqui Valley in Argentina, which is in the Salta region in the northwest. Um, and the grapes for these, this wine are grown in these vineyards that are the highest altitude vineyards in the world, up to about uh, 8,500 feet above sea level. I mean, this is real. <laughs> this is in the mountains. Um, so these high, high altitude grapes get brilliant sunlight, and they just have a, such an even um, balance uh, of, of ripeness because of the cool, cool um, climate up in those mountains. It just lets those grapes just develop slowly, bring out all those great flavors and maintain all that wonderful acidity that keeps the wine bright and mouth-watering. Um, Colomé, of course, really well-known winery. It's owned by uh, Donald Hess. And, you know, their wines always end up on the big lists and they get the great accolades. Um, but he, um, he's got uh, a very experienced winemaker from uh, studied in Burgundy and he's working with uh, French oak barrels. This wine is aged 15 months in French oak. They blend in a little bit of Tanat and a little bit of uh, a couple other grapes. There's some Petit Verdot in here, a little bit of Malbec. But um, the idea is to really bring out that brilliant fruit in these high altitude Malbec grapes. So. We've got a really nice, like big plums, uh, blueberries on the nose. A little bit of something um, sort of smoky in there. Uh, a little hint of licorice. Chocolate. Hmm. Let's taste. It's rich, mouth filling on the palate. You get those sort of blackberry, blueberry fruit flavors. Um, a nice sort of chewy quality to the mid palate, uh, and and those bright, bright acids, making it really mouth watering. Um, there's a good balance to this wine. There's just sort of little hints of those uh, toasty nuances from the oak, but it really blends in beautifully with those with those sweet fruit flavors. Um, really rich, really intense, <laughs> good quality Malbec. Enjoy.